I'm Carol Angela Davis with your Cannabis News. Okay, if you are attending a community college for free in West Virginia, you're going to have to be cannabis free, and that's because uh, THC is going to be on a list of banned substances for participants in this free program. Now, funding for free community college was approved unanimously by the state Senate in February via Senate Bill 284. Apparently, applicants are also going to be tested for opioids, oxycodone, hydrocodone, amphetamines, cocaine, and other substances, but if a student can provide proof that they are under doctor's orders to use that drug, then they will be exempted from testing on that drug, okay? The Charleston Gazette Mail reporting that the drug test is going to be administered in the first 60 days of the semester. Students are going to have to pick up the tab for their drug test at about $34, and they have to do it at an authorized drug facility. West Virginia lawmakers also passed, legis passed this legislation, I should say, legalizing medical marijuana. That happened in 2017. They're now considering contracts for the system's banking and financial services, putting West Virginia above a whole other, a lot of other states. Uh, and West Virginia, I love you, my mom's from West Virginia. <clears throat> In other cannabis news, a bipartisan group of 20 state and territorial attorneys generals has called for the passage of a federal bill that's going to give the cannabis industry access to the federal banking system. That's that Safe Banking Act. Michigan Governor Gretchen Whitmer saying there is an inherent danger for businesses operating in an all-cash business, okay? But due to federal drug and money laundering regulations, even cannabis businesses operating that are in compliance with state laws cannot obtain financial services that are regularly used by other businesses. This is a huge problem, people. So in addition to Whitmer, there are 20 other governors who have expressed their support for that Safe Banking Act. That legislation is pending further action in the House and we should tell you there it has more than 200 co-sponsors. So we hope that that Banking Act gets passed. I'm Carol Angela Davis. Like me, share me, save me, bookmark me, subscribe. Have a good day.